हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप एवरी वन इज वेल स्टे होम एंड स्टे सेफ ऑबे ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन गिवन बाय ऑथोरिटीज फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम टू फाइट अगेंस्ट दिस कोरोना वायरस ओके फ्रेंड्स इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई शोड यू हाउ टू इंस्टॉल एनाकोंडा फॉर विंडोज टेन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम those who had not seen my previous video may visit the link provided in the description today i am going to show you how to use matplotlib in anaconda we can do that in many ways one i will show you we can do that using anaconda cmd prompt and the secondly i will show you how to use anaconda spider id for doing this matplotlib so first i will show you using anaconda command prompt so we'll go to anaconda here it is written anaconda prompt anaconda 3 or anaconda powershell prompt any one of this you can open as you can see anaconda prompt has opened here i'll open python simply write python yeah python has opened now we will write our simple program to create a line graph suppose we want to create one line graph to show the profits of a company in various years how we can do that so that means in the graph we need two axes that is x axis and y axis one of them will show you the years means which year the company has done how much profit so there are two things one is number of years second one is profit so we'll start writing the program so first we will see this years is equal to set that quotation we will write the years suppose 2012 comma then 2013 comma we will mention each year in single quotation 2015 suppose we have taken these four years 2012 13 14 and 15 next we will take profits is equal to same way third bracket for 2012 let it be 8 percent comma then for 2013 let it be 10% comma 2014 let it be 8.5 comma then 2015 let it be 9.3 then enter now dot we want to make line graph so we'll use the function plot if we want to make pie chart we will use pie as the function though we are making line graph so we'll be using the function plot inside that we'll mention the parameters comma we will now define what would be the color of the line suppose this blue then we will write the title title of the company so 
सकते हो द नेम ऑफ द कंपनी गैस एजेंसी लेट इट बी आसम गैस एजेंसी नाउ विल टेक एक्स लेवल दैट इज व्हाट विल बी द नेम ऑफ द एक्स एक्सिस so what it is going to show years right it's going to show you years x axis then next is y axis it is going to show what profits in million rupees suppose so we have already defined here what is our x level name and y level name that means x axis and y axis what names it will denote last now we'll call the function to show the plot so we'll use show function now we'll simply hit enter as you can see the graph has opened here we can see the coordinates so anywhere you place in the line graph see the coordinates are coming so 2013 what was so here profits in million rupees here it is years axis is showing the years and here it is shown as profits so this is the line graph so now we are going to see the same program using spider so to do that we'll open anaconda we'll go to anaconda navigator so as you can see anaconda navigator has opened now we'll start the spider we will do the same line graph in spider and see how it works so we'll see how to do the same line graph using spider so we will write the codes here import matplotlib dot pplot as plt next write the number of years inside third bracket 2012 2013 side quotation 13 then comma again 2014 then 2015 and then the second one it will show as profit let it be profit is equal to third bracket 9 comma 10 comma 8.5 comma 9.3 so we will use the function plt dot plot which will give our graph see some suggestions have come up will be using the first packet inside that first is arguments is given so we'll write one is years second one is profits and then the color of the graph 
blue and plt dot title now title of our company that was Assam Gas Agency enter plt dot x level x axis will show our years then plt dot y level this is going to show our profits in million rupees then we will call the function show to show our plot this is done so now we will click on run see the graph has come up in the console Suppose we change the percentage here. Let it be 5%. Let it be 1%. Let it be 11.5%. Then last one, let it be 6.2%. Done. We'll run the program again. The line graph has changed from this to this. Here it is profits in million, y axis and x axis years are shown. This is how we can do matplotlib in spider also and command prompt also. So I will show you the codes. I'm copying it. It may not be visible, so I'm writing it here in the notepad. See, this is the program. Import matplotlib dot pplot as plt. We are using this plt and the function calls. So just remember this plot function we have used to draw the line graph. Now we are going to do another program to display a pie chart which shows the percentage of employees in each department of a company. We'll do that. We'll do it here itself. Import matplotlib again. Dot pplot as plt. slices equal to this will be the slices that will be denoted by pie chart 50 comma 20 comma 15 comma 15 next is departments so the variable is dpts here we'll denote the department names first one is sales then production then hr and then last one finance Another variable we are taking COLS here we will denote each colors which will be denoted in our pi diagram second one suppose the color is cyan 
third one let it be brown fourth one let it be gold color enter now plt will use the function pi as i have said earlier pi function will use to make a pie chart inside quotation the arguments first one will show slices then levels will be shown by the variable dpts that is departments comma colors will be shown by the variable calls we are defining this variables now then start angle will be 90 that is 90 degree now we'll use new function explode explode is used for the first block we are giving 0 for the second block we are giving 0 0.2 third block 0 fourth block 0 this function explode function what it does i will show you i have put the second one as 0 0.2 what is the name of the department for the second one this production that means in the pi diagram the part which denotes the production will be sliced out from the pie chart how it works i will show you then shadow shadow function that is true will show the shadows of each part this is inside plot pi then we'll make the title Suppose the company name is TCS and it is South Delhi branch. Next, we'll plot plt dot legend is a function. Legend actually it is used to display the colors and levels of data especially when different sets of data are plotted next we will call up plt.show function to show our pie chart now we will run this program see it has come up this is the pie chart see the production part is sliced out I have put here 0 0.2 so it came out of this pie chart if you put it 0 here then again run it see it is connected the pie chart is connected so if we want to highlight one department we can put like that for example uh, this HR this HR we want to slice out it is in the third position so in the third position we will give 0 0.2 let's explode then I can run this see the HR part has sliced out if you can't see the codes and make it ready in notepad this is the program so this is the function used to show the pi diagram plt dot pi we used plot to show the line chart we are using pi to show the pie chart so we have done two programs today one to show the line chart 
second one is pi diagram thanks a lot